Well, it's a nice rainy day, as you might be able to hear outside, so I'm going to work in the pole barn a little bit. I just hatched a few more quail, and uh, I gathered up some of this little scrap 2 by 4s I ripped an old shelf out of the uh, greenhouse, and I'm going to take these old 2 by 4s and I'm going to uh, make a quail tractor that I can run across the yard and... Um, raise these quail on the ground and uh, reduce the feed uh, bill a little bit and uh, maybe let them eat a few bugs things like that and just try that out but yep let's follow along as I build this uh, I'll show you the progress and stages here as I work on it and call these boards and stuff so uh, there you have it well I told you I would keep you in the loop of what I was doing here with the uh, with the uh, quail tractor but I haven't done a very good job of that uh, Anyway, this is the box so far. Um, it is six foot long. It is, well, it's two foot uh, high and three feet wide. Um, so it'll give them a nice, uh, I don't want to give them too much headroom to jump up. Uh, but they don't need a lot of height. But they do need some width and length. And what I might do is actually, um, I'm thinking of what I'd like to do is keep 10 in here and separate this and put five on one side, five on another. That way I can have a rooster and four hens on each side. That way I get a good fertilization on the eggs. I might just let them run the whole thing for now uh, and put the division in later. I'm not sure. These will be the handles and uh, then I'm going to put wheels on the back um, so I can just pick it up. And it's not, I mean, it's heavy, but it, that's good. It's, it's not too bad. It's uh, heavy enough to hold it down, but certainly not too heavy to move even with all the wire and the lid and everything i put on it it isn't going to be that heavy uh especially with the wheels it ought to roll pretty easy but um yeah i tried to do a good job of doing the joints i kind of cut these uh as you can see i kind of went half and half on the uh, things to kind of get a good uh, solid grip i didn't do a real perfect job or anything because well it's a quail tractor <laughs> it's a piece of furniture uh so i just wanted to make it uh make it work um with the overlaps and, and whatnot and give it some stability and it feels super solid i probably need to put um one right here i might just put that on the inside rather than cut the halves and things i think i'll just uh go on the inside with a board on each side and uh that way i've got that covered i'm gonna have a two-part lid in case i want to divide up the center i'm gonna have it where i can lift one side and then the other and I'm just going to put like a tarp, uh, uh, a hardware cloth, and then a tarp over that for uh, rain protection. And I'm going to put some boxes. I'm going to build some boxes out of some pallet wood here on the ends, on each end with a hole so they can get in and kind of get some shelter if they want uh, out of any rain that's coming through the side or just they want to feel a little more uh, secluded. And I'll probably put like a... Um, uh, dust bath in there and things like that but I want to put hinged lids on those too so I can get in there if I have to get a quail out or uh, or just add to the dust bath or whatever but that's it so far I'll I'll let you know when it's a little closer to finish and take another little video and piece this all together later well I made some more progress I got a couple little wheels on that I found laying around they were pretty good too uh, you can see I threw some paint on it I ended up putting these uh, two boards here on the inside I just had a little leftover uh, brown fence paint from uh, fence paint from painting our fence around here, so I thought, well, I'll just throw that on there. I wanted to do it before I put the wire on, and it's coming along. It's going to work great. I kind of wheeled it around the garage here. Feels real good, rolling, and I think it's going to work pretty good. I'll uh, come back to you later when we got a lid and and some uh, wire on it. Well, I made a little more progress on it. I made the little boxes on the ends. And the doors lift up so I can get in there if I have to or when I change out like their uh, dust boxes. Um, I made them on both sides. In case I, the reason I did that is I, I think as I get more quail in here, I'll probably um, split uh, so many on each side. And that way I can uh, keep, the, keep them from fighting and um, also... Uh, get better fertilization on the eggs but uh yeah it works pretty good i put wheels i think i showed that on a few months ago we got the wheels on got the boxes built i already put wire on the bottom um so i just gotta i gotta build the lid yet gotta wire the sides in each end and uh i'm going to uh make a uh 
So the lid, like I said, I'll put like a tarp and some chicken wire under it with a tarp across it. And I'm going to kind of, um, I'm going to two by four it in the middle and two by two on the sides. That way it has a little bit of a dome to it and the water will, you know, kind of run off each side of it. I think that's what I'm going to do. Um, I have a few, uh, and I'm going to make two different lids so I don't have to, because <laughs> if there's one thing I've learned about quail is when you flip a big lid and you can't kind of control a whole area, <laughs> they'll probably fly out on you. So I'll make it so I can lift one side or the other and uh, kind of uh, scare them to one side or whatever. Or if I'm on one side, you're standing there so you can kind of keep an eye on them and catch them if they start to pop up. But yeah, it's coming along. I think it's going to be pretty nice. I think it looks bigger on the video than what it probably is. It's, I mean, it's a pretty good size. Like I said, three uh three by six in the box of course i've got the uh, wheel section and the uh part to uh, grab a hold of up there sticking out a few more inches I, but yeah come along and uh people think well it might be too heavy but it really isn't bad i mean i pick it up and uh and i only have to pick it up a couple inches anyway to uh to roll it and it's really not that heavy for me so i mean i'll be fine um, I don't think the kids will be moving it. I ain't got to worry about no wind knocking it over or a dog tipping it over or anything like that. I think, yeah, I got a mess in here, don't I? <laughs> but I think it's coming along pretty good. I think it's going to be, uh, I can't wait to see the quail in there. They're, I just hatched a batch, like I said. They're not, they're, they got a couple weeks before they're going to go in this anyway. But uh, I thought I'd go ahead and get it built, get it out in the yard, and uh, I'll show you the finished product uh, later. Well, I decided to just rip some uh, two by fours here and uh, make some two by twos. I had some extra two by fours, some old scrap ones. I just ripped those in half, used two by twos. I decided to go with a, just one on top here and that's just to give a little bit of a pitch on the roof so water will run off each side. And uh, I got the hinges on and I think that'll work. I wanted two separate uh, doors, on each, uh, one on each side lids rather. And uh, I'm gonna get that covered in wire and uh, I'm gonna put a tarp over them and then I'm gonna get the sides covered in uh, some uh, hardware cloth and uh, we'll be uh, we get closer to done well there it is in all of its glory finished out here in the yard it's got a nice little sunshade going on here it's probably gonna be hard to see some of the stuff um, yeah these are the lids I uh, I made for the top here. Let me just try to open one up here and let you see what's going on in there. These boxes, the front lid opens up on it. Um, I made this to where I can slide a divide in here. I'm going to make a little divide where I can put a divide in here. At first, I'm just going to go ahead and just leave it uh, like that and then uh, open it up later. Somebody asked, oh, why are you putting that little light um, there? It's one of them little cheap... Uh, like walkway lights like a dollar or something I popped down in there and I actually seen a video where a guy uh, um, put a couple of those in a uh, quail tractor and he said you know quail will unlike chickens will eat at night and they'll kind of be up and active at night and he said it draws in the bugs and they'll peck away the bugs and he actually put a little video in his uh, uh, or a he had a, little, a video camera in the uh, quail tractor and he showed at night how these quail were like pecking bugs away from that light. And I was like, well, that's kind of interesting. I might just try that. But as you can see, it has a couple wheels on the back. These, uh, these lids have wire under them and I just put them on tarp and I separated them so I could, um, lift up one side or the other. Uh, it, uh, picks up and rolls really easy. I was rolling all over the yard, just kind of checking it out and it did a really good job. Like I said, I'll put a couple of dust baths. I'm going to keep the dust baths in those boxes, in the back corner of those boxes. Um, just because that stuff gets wet or something, it won't work as good. Uh, they won't like it as well. Food and water can kind of set in the middle um, of the uh, where it'll stay as dry as possible. And that's it. Not much to it other than a box with... Uh, um, wire around it now some people ask why you wire the bottom uh, you don't have to um, me I'm going to be taking this in different parts of my yard and uh, I wanted to uh, be able to um, pick it up pick the quail up by high enough to get over my walkways because I have some uh, gravel sidewalks and things like that I can't drag them over and they're um, 
it's been my experience. I've set them out in cages, just regular cages before in the yard, and they, they just stick their head right down through that wire and peck the grass and whatnot. So uh, I don't think it's a big deal. Um, I think they would get uh, better uh, food. I mean, they would do better if, if there wasn't any wire there, but just for my purposes, the wire is going to be, uh, I think, better uh, for this situation. So if I was keeping it in like one section, or straight down, straight back, you know, I probably wouldn't wire the bottom like that, put the wire on the bottom. But uh, in my situation, I kind of, I kind of felt like I had to. So there it is. Uh, maybe give you some ideas on building your own and getting your, uh, your quail out in the yard.